let's see we could do um i'm trying to think of like a song lyric that would be fun to that say works. for high school um this is how we do it da, 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 da. <laughs> this is the way of the dork Welcome, everybody, to episode 42 of the Four Dorksman Podcast. Uh, I'm Nate, a.k.a. Angry Nate. This is Joey, a.k.a. Joey. <laughs> I'm Collector Clint, period. And I'm Ryan, comma, Asian Tony Stark. And we are the Four Dorksmen. And thank you for joining us this week. Uh, a couple of quick housekeeping things. Uh, make sure you're following us on Twitter and Instagram at the underscore dorksman. Uh, make sure you're playing along at dorksmanbingo.com. So always, as always, shout out to Larry from the STS guys and uh, Andrew, Andrew Newland, for setting up the bingo card for us and uh, Larry for setting up the uh, website for us. So make sure you're playing along. Uh, we love to see your bingo cards. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so... Not much else going on this week, but let's just jump right into our Ask the Dorksman Q&A. Oh, actually, there's only two of us wearing hats. Joey just took his hat off, so... Yeah. Um, well, Clint wasn't, and there wasn't wearing one to begin bingo with, anyway, so... Yeah, it, it kind of negates that bingo square this week. Yeah. Clint has a hair. hat of hair. Yes. That's Unless you want to go get another, like, sorter and put it on your head again, Clint. That always works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a toque, or whatever it is that you have laying around in that room of yours. How about a two-butted goat? A two butted goat? Yeah, it's from Bob's Burgers. Oh yes, the two butted. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Can, Anyways, can, can 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 one of you take a picture of that? Yes, take a picture of the fact that there's three butts now, right there in that one picture. <laughs> there's, there's two butts on the one butt head. Is that yes. what you're saying? Yes. That's you three butts. Two Look butts at that on awful the one face head. he's making. I'm glad this is an audio only <laughs> yeah, platform exactly. that we're using can I, can right I now. Can I take this off now? Did you guys get uh, your music out of it? Yeah, I think someone took a screenshot. I All right, didn't. good. But anyways, anyway. uh, ask the dorksman questions. We love your questions. Uh, we love to try to answer them as best as we can, and we love to hear your answers as well. So uh, make sure you're playing along at home and answering the questions as well. Our first question today comes from Manny, uh, aka Night Bodega, good friend of the podcast. Shout out to Manny. So he wants to know, what are your three top things you miss doing that you could be before this whole COVID situation? And you cannot say hanging out with your friends because that's obvious, unless you hate your friends, which <laughs> it might be a good time to tell them. Um. <laughs> yeah, go for it, Joey. <laughs> well, guys, I've been meaning to tell you now. Yeah. Fine. I don't Fine. miss y'all at all. <laughs> um, it's, it's just, it's little things like... Uh, talking to my wife it was either yesterday or maybe it was even today about just going like into a restaurant and like getting your food and just kind of sitting down and and eating with everybody so being able to like go in and have a sit down meal with your family and stuff is definitely one of mine um the other one would probably be going to going to the movies like mm -hmm. i was thinking today of trying to remember when's the last time i went to a movie with the family i was in the middle of uh, the Harley Quinn movie when everything started shutting down in my states, so I had to leave middle way through it. I think I've told that story before to go get grocery shopping done because everybody was raiding everything. Um, so definitely that just being able to get together and, and do that with them. And then the third one's kind of personal. Like my son hasn't been able to come over since uh, the whole quarantine thing started. We've been able to see each other during the week, like going on hikes and stuff like that, but trying to practice our social distancing there um so just having him like at the house and playing video games with him is another big thing like we just keep talking about it. as soon as he gets back over here we're going to be logging like 30 hours straight of borderlands <laughs> because we have a whole dlc we haven't played that's come out so that's probably my three playing video games with him going to movies with the family and going to eat with the family so do you like hike like six feet apart where you guys are just yelling at each other back and forth? Yeah, six feet is not really that far. Yeah. <laughs> People don't re realize <laughs> yeah, how it's really well, when you are ten feet, feet tall, is. no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> um, so pretty much I know if I reach one of my arms out and I can touch him that that's that's right yeah. at six feet. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much what we do. We just go yeah. hike in different places and, and keep our distance and if we have to cough or sneeze, cough and sneeze behind us and away from <laughs> each other, stuff like that. But yeah. How are you, Clint? So um, this is a great question, first of all, Manny. So, uh, the first thing I think of is Ava. And 
you know, it's been great having her around and playing with her, but it's been so hard <laughs> to play with her and work at the same time and keep an eye on a two year old. So uh, the thing I actually miss is her going to school. I want her to go back, see her friends, uh, learn, play, eat, do everything she does at school. Today, she told me she wanted to go to school. and I'm like, I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, partially because it's Saturday when we're recording this, but also <laughs> because, uh, you know, everything going on. So that's my my first one is I'm anxious for her to go to school for her own learning development and, and just plain amusement. Um, I will definitely echo the going out to eat. My, uh, you know, one thing I like to do is, is go out to eat with my family. I, I know I've told you guys on Sundays, we go for breakfast with my uh, in-laws and then we'd go to a movie usually. Uh, so I miss that too, Joey, but I'll just, I'll just, I'll just stick with the going out to eat period more than the movies, even though I miss that too. And um, the third thing actually was, um, had things like being open uh, longer hours and like the brewery across the street from me is open four hours a day. And you know, it, it's hard to get over there if I want to get something versus when it's open till 10 o'clock, I can go in there, you know, once I get everything taken care of at home and then go grab something I want. So I miss, I miss regular business hours, if that makes sense Yeah. to, to just be able to do things. Um, yeah. Those are my three. What's your own? I will also echo eating. Um, Michi's birthday was last month, midway through the month, and it seriously broke my heart that we couldn't celebrate what I would call properly. Typically, what we do is, you know, I'll take her out to dinner, maybe like Ruth's Chris or a good steak dinner because that's Ooh, what she likes. Ruth's Chris, nice. And we couldn't do that. I actually, because they're still open, I had offered her, honey, do you want me to go pick up something from Ruth's Chris and, you know, we can just have it here and you you should have seen the dejected look on her face. It it's not like, the same, right? Yeah, you can't all. get really that not. nice yeah, butterfly not. filet on the sizzling plate brought to you still. Yeah, and it, part of it same. also is the service because Roots Chris, one of the reasons I continually go back there as opposed to some of the other steakhouses locally here in the state, whether they're you know local homebred or whatever, is the service that you get at Roots Chris is always top-notch on par. So, you know, dude, I think they pick up the breadcrumbs before they even hit the table coming off your mouth. <laughs> Seriously, right? <laughs> I've been there about two or three times to the one in New Orleans when I lived when I lived there. And I, um, for my parents anniversary one year, I bought them a gift card to go there. And they had never been to a restaurant like that with that kind of service. And they were just like there was like people swarming me all the time, like picking this up and putting this down and doing all this. It's it's crazy. I miss that place. I def so yes, number one, definitely I'll echo that restaurants. Movies are a big thing too, even though I haven't gone as often as I'd like to this year. Um, you know, Black everybody. Widow, obviously. <laughs> Black Widow, enough <laughs> said. Right? That's a big For one. me as a Marvel fan. So I definitely miss going to actually watch a movie. In the future, I'm kind of hesitant about how things will be because if somebody's sitting next to you and you don't know who this person is and God forbid they cough or sneeze, I'm going to freak, freak out and be like, whoa, dude, like you need to like get up and walk away or something and then third i just i want to be able to go to a store and this is aside from what clint was saying about like normal operation hours i want to go to a store not have to worry about wearing a mask not have yeah. to worry about how far i am from somebody else whether it's my fault or their fault who came in proximity of the other person general space yada 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 whatever you call it i just want i want life to be somewhat quote unquote normal as opposed to this shit show that we're currently yeah. living in now. And I don't know whether or not we are going to be able to go back to something that is what we refer to as normal. Yeah, right. I think the masks and the distancing part is around to stay at least until that yeah. vaccine gets done sometime in the next year or so. So I think that part's here to stay for at least a foreseeable future. Well, and the question mm -hmm. begs to differ, too, that, of course, this is a very rare occurrence that really shouldn't have happened. What if something like this happens again? Or right. A disease transfers from species to species because it, it's not like this is a new concept it's happened yeah before. right it just wasn't as bad I, I, I hopefully some lessons have been learned on the global level from you know what what we did wrong and hopefully those get corrected better uh next time and mm -hmm. so hopefully there the next time is a ways away like hopefully this is a, a almost a once in a generation thing like hopefully none of us and none of our kids have to you know deal with something like this again anytime soon at least that's my hope because I, yeah. I think what the last one they said that that was this bad was the spanish flu which is what 1918 yeah. or something yeah. crazy yeah. like that because even years. if you think of swine flu and bert the avian flu and yeah, all that kind of stuff that hit that. 
that that was pretty quickly squashed and didn't have I think you know the same obviously uh, impact that this did. I mean, I know it didn't have the same impact this did. So ho- hopefully this is uh, over and done with and uh, we don't have anything like this again in the foreseeable future. I think one, one of the lessons gonna... we can take away from this also is don't be like Ozzy Osbourne and don't <laughs> bite the head off of a bat. <laughs> it's true. Pro tip right Pro there. Tip. Pro tip. Don't, Pro don't tip. Bite well, bats. if you're going to eat it, cook it. Yeah, cook your bats. <laughs> this is true. Your cook your bats. Well, I was going to ask, Clint, um, especially with a, with a younger with someone younger in your life like Ava, where she oh. doesn't understand that, you know, things are drastically different than how they were before. Like, how does that, I wonder like how that conversation is going to go once like everything's over, everything's back to normal. And like, when she can understand it, like, how do you explain that to her? That's like, you know, you lost like a good chunk of your childhood here of being stuck at home away from your right. friends. Um, luckily I think she's young enough that I don't have to understand it. Like when we started right. keeping her home, she didn't really complain or even be very upset. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. Right. Um, it's going to be interesting when we take her back because mm. I know procedures have, will change. I mean, when she goes back, she's going to have to wear a mask, which we have not done, had her do at all. Cause she's barely left the house. Um, She's gonna. They do a whole different drop-off procedure now because they want to avoid people in school as much as they can, which makes total sense. So you know that part's gonna. She's gonna struggle with the details more than she is the overall. And you know, I, I'm a little bummed for a development standpoint. You know, it's been mm-hmm. two months now that she missed out on you know learning new concepts, words, playing, etc. But um, I think she's at an age where she's gonna be just fine. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I think there's children at different ages that aren't gonna be. If she was a little older, I think it'd be tougher as you said, to explain this, to keep this going than it has mm-hmm. been for us. But, um, you know, let's see. That's all I can say. I think it's going to be interesting. <laughs> two, two big things um, is going to be schools and uh, sporting events. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah I, I, think, I think conventions and concerts and all that stuff will probably still just hold off until the vaccine's available. But I know there's a big push for the NFL and then high school and college football to start on a, you know, on a sim- semi normal schedule. And I know our state's governing body for high school sports uh, sent out a memo the other day that they're still working through some stuff. But one of the options that they talked about was doing it without fans. That'd well, be so weird. <laughs> well, I mean, the college and NFL's got this problem, but not nearly as much as high school and especially where I am on the junior high level. Pretty much the whole program is run on gate and concession sales Mm -hmm. so especially smaller schools and smaller sports i I don't know how you're gonna survive more than one academic year without federal or state funding for your for your programs you know to to get through um you know if you do do something without fans and then you know schools a totally different you know totally different animal there because you know we i've seen stuff thrown around where you We'll have like 10 kids in a class and they'll alternate what days they come. And I I don't know. It's just we can speculate all day, but it's going to be very interesting. I think come August when it's time for school and football to start back up, because that's going to be the two big things. Right. Right. Well, anyway, Manny, excellent question because it kept <laughs> talking. Yeah, well, they didn't even Nate, get a chance Nate to answer it. Didn't even get a chance to answer <laughs> yeah, exactly. just, you know, it's all fast. Uh, Sorry. You're so, right. So, I mean, obviously going to echo the restaurant thing, but um, for me, I actually miss going to work like i miss the commute to work the seeing my friends at work right having my kind of my nine to five or whatever you want to call it away from my home and that's one thing that i mean i'm fine working from home because it's like i literally roll out of bed and get up and i'm on my computer i'm in a zoom meeting whatever i can do my work just fine (laughs) but it's that separation of being in your house to get your day done and then come home and relax right so yeah it's just that separation is what's really getting to me. They take um, away your happy place in a sense. Yeah. In a sense yeah. where it's like, I, I get to look, I mean, it's nice. I get to look at all my pops and like, you know, all my stuff all day in my room, but it's like, this is where I'm supposed to go to relax, not to stress over what I'm doing for the next month worth of content for, right. you know? So that, that's kind of where, um, that's the big thing that I miss. I hate, um, a, I hate that. I have to have a phone conversation now. If I have like a sec, six second question, you know? Right. Oh, yeah, what yeah. kind of question? A sex second? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, almost I almost confused my second job there. Um, sorry, I don't know. If I have a you have to pay extra for that question. on this podcast. Dingus clinticals. 
<laughs> on duty. That's his. That's his uh, <laughs> second job name. Is that your yeah, second? Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, I agree. Yeah. And as you talked about sports, I do miss sports, and that's just it's such so low on the list of things um, for me that are like that I want to see back to normal. Like sports would be great to see back to normal, but that's really low on my list of things. But I do miss it. Um, and like Ryan said, I thought I was going to be all smart and be like, yeah, just going back to normal, you know, not having to line up at the grocery store, not having to, um, you know, follow the arrows on the, on the, on the ground of the grocery store, which I'll to go through and like, you know, things like that, um, where we can just walk into a store and do whatever we need. So things like that, I do miss that. And, you know, one day we'll get back to it. I, I, I truly don't know when that will be, but the more we stay home and the more uh, people kind of do their part, hopefully the quicker we'll all get back to that and, you know, don't be selfish about it. Yeah. Or we'll all be stuck like this forever. And, it's and wash fault. your hands. Remember, that's a that's a new, that's our yeah. new motto. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. That um, should be your intro this week. Wash yeah. your damn hands. <laughs> I just hope that uh, this vaccine. Last thing I saw was March. I think is what the FDA was estimating. Mm. One mm-hmm. would be available. So I'm hoping that's a thing because you know that's kind of the very beginning of con season. Um, so I'm hoping that that's that's correct. Um, it, it, it would also make me feel more confident with the fact that my son's going to be graduating this coming nice. school year, that he'll actually be able to have an actual graduation. Right. So, yeah. Shout out to the seniors this year that yeah had to sacrifice yeah. that. Yeah. That sucks. Um, but let, let, let's keep going. We've, 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 well, kinda, you can tell that this is a sensitive subject. That's it's why, true. You know, it's true. Yeah. It's, it's a good it's, question. Man. It right. is a very good question, Manny. Thank you for the question. It's it's and it's a topical and I mean, you got to face the music, right? It's true. Yeah. And, and and it's one of those things I too, I do agree with. It's like, you got to talk about it. It's the reality of it. You can't just be like, Oh, it'll be fine. And then you go carry on about doing whatever, right? Like it's, it's important to get your fears and kind of what you're not sure about around this talked about in the open. So you can be informed. And I think that's a big problem is people, some people out there are, definitely misinformed and oh boy that's really, a, that's, really a sucks. that's a whole other episode right there boy <laughs> maybe yeah, we're not going to we'll open that, that can of worms today nate maybe yeah next not time. today yeah not today maybe next time maybe next week maybe next week next question next question meg from meg meg stalker meg Mountain from meg meg. <laughs> meg. <laughs> meg from meg's meg. mom <laughs> <laughs> that's probably where she came from <laughs> oh my meg asks what has been your favorite four dorkspin game night moment so far? And I'm gonna answer first, just so you guys don't skip me. Um, I, in, in my defense, it was only me. It wasn't. Yeah. And it, it, honestly, it's just, um, it's kind of just seeing everybody. There's no specific moment other than the clinticals. Yo, uh, yes. Which, which Joey dropped a couple weeks ago. The clinticals. Jeez. Joey dropped Clint's clinticals. Um, but that, Don't that has been by far my singular favorite moment. But in general, it's been great. Like, we love the support. We really enjoy hanging out with you guys on Friday nights. And um, I think we're going to try to do that again this upcoming Friday. Uh-huh. So we'll, we'll schedule we'll, permitting. We'll keep that awesome. yeah. yeah, schedule permitting. Anyways, that's my moment. Clinticals. Well, since Clinticals. you went first, why don't we go in reverse order for a change? Oh, shit. I'll okay. Next. So that Ryan's way they don't next. steal my answer. <laughs> the first time that we played Cards Against Humanity. And whatever that um, Joey porn star question thing that came up, I can't remember the exact, <laughs> the exact terms of it, but it was just like utterly perfect because we had our Joey and we had Asian Joey playing. And it, yeah. Perfect. You, you, you couldn't have perfect. like wrote a you better script, script for that. that. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't have scripted that. And I'm sorry Absolutely. if you weren't there for it because obviously it was highly inappropriate. So we weren't, we, we are <laughs> yeah, not, we weren't definitely not going to yeah. go back and recite what <laughs> That's was That's not said. saved anywhere. Yeah, no. I think not. I might have it saved somewhere, but yeah, nobody <laughs> can see it. Maybe for the resources within our own group, but yeah. that was some funny times. Shame on you for not being there if you weren't there. Yes. Uh, well, that one, well, I don't remember that. I was trying to think of the scheduling for that one, but I guess we did announce that ahead of time and everything, didn't we? We just recorded. We did here. because yeah, okay. I, I remember Sully was playing. We had a bunch of people yeah. in the audience just watching. Like Meg was there in the audience. Yeah, Meg was yeah. there. I was there. Yeah. I wasn't playing. I was watching, but um, that's a good That's a good one. So <laughs> my, I have two. Um, you can only first... choose one, sir. 
Singular. Well, they're kind of they're kind of different. That's why I'm saying they're two. Okay, do both quickly. Okay. So, so we first, can skip Joey. The, the, there, there you go. There we go. I got Joey. <laughs> the first one was just the last time we did it, and we had the Sully raid, and the fact that we had so many people in there, and I think mm-hmm. they all just really understood and really appreciated how fun and funny the game night was, and why we did it. I think uh, that was our biggest crowd, and it was just a lot of fun to interact with everybody, either in our Zoom chat or on the actual Mixer chat. So that was that was just fun. Um, my other one is the horse. And how it just kind of kept happening. <laughs> I love I love that about Jackbox. Is like there's typically one topic that gets brought up. It's either Clint or a horse or Clint's horse, and it's just it gets beat to death for two hours, and it's beautiful. Once it starts, you got to find it first. Yeah, you got to find it first. But Even when you starts, try to change the narrative, it doesn't happen. It's it there. Happen. It's stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Clint Tacos is here to stay, as is yeah. Clint Dingus. Even though that's and not Clint's part of our horse. game nights. Game nights. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Joey? Uh, my favorite was when we played uh, Hollywood Squares, and I chose Joan Rivers for the win. Circle gets the square, and it was over with, son. Oh wait, that didn't happen, did it? I was no, gonna say, no. are you, are you, are you oh, I can yeah. do the one on pot brownies today. Yeah, it was clinicals. <laughs> So that's why I had to go first because you knew I was gonna say Clint. And you can even stretch it out, and you can change it into Clint Tickles, and then that becomes a different answer altogether. And just a totally different running joke that you could start if you change it into Clint Tickles. <laughs> That's like or Sully's tickle. hat and Sully's shat. Yeah, yep. they had this yeah. Sully or, shat. Or, or Tickle Me Clint. That could be something else, too, that we could get into. <laughs> Is that part Don't of your second job, Clint? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Do you the dress up man. in a giant Elmo costume for this said job? <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh, second call. <laughs> Dingus. So is it Clint Tickles Clinticles? Is the title yes. of this episode? Yes. Oh, geez. Good. It, it found its way into the podcast. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get a bingo square of that. So we'll, we'll reach out to Andrew and make sure we get the Clinticles, uh, the Clinticles bingo square. Yeah. So thank you, Meg, for the question. We love seeing you hang out with us uh, on the game night and the pre party and all that. So uh, let us know what your favorite Dorksman game night moment has been so far. And we'll definitely keep everyone up to date on uh, when we're doing the next one. Um, we'll make sure we. Give plenty of notice, and we'll we'll definitely be doing those because those are a lot of fun. This Friday. This Friday. This Friday. I don't know what the date is because I'm bad at dates. Like I'm bad at math. Um, so today's topic, as we uh, kind of move on finally, uh, is high school and high school memories. Uh, what we wanted to do earlier this week was uh, we wanted to do our Dorksman prom. Uh, that didn't quite work out uh, with some scheduling issues and it just felt really rushed uh based on kind of the the time we had so we definitely do want to still do that uh, but we'll make a bigger announcement on that uh, once we kind of work out the time the date and stuff so keeping keep an ear out for that and we'll definitely post on twitter and whatnot but yeah we just want to talk about high school um as we mentioned just now that a lot of seniors are having a tough year this year because you know covid and not being able to see their friends and graduation and missing prom and all that stuff so um, it gave us the chance to kind of reflect back on what we enjoyed about high school and kind of our experiences from high school. So I guess the, the first and very most obvious question is, did any of you guys collect anything while you were in high school? Baseball cards, basketball cards, even though I'm not a sports guy, I collected those. Pogs. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That was, that was sixth grade. I was waiting for someone to say. I don't think that was high school for me. Yeah. No, I don't want to see your Pog collection. But I did have Pogs. <laughs> G- I collected bad grades. So that's one thing I collected. <laughs> nice. I think I was like in between collecting phases. Like I collected, mm. well, like we talked about one of the other episodes, my main thing that I started collecting, like what Ryan was talking about, was cards, whether it's, you know, baseball, basketball, football cards, sports cards, I guess, in general. Um, and and that was that was probably elementary to, to junior high time. Um, and then probably high school, I probably wasn't really collecting – much at all probably not even until here just recently when i got back into funko pop collecting to be perfectly honest with you so there was probably a pretty big drought there where i stopped collecting stuff for a long time mm-hmm. um, i forgot to mention marvel cards and comics nice and i i did you always saying exactly kind of how i did i i was kind of in between some things but i still was grabbing um I still wanted to grab some like the McDonald's toys. I know I still have them. Believe it or not, like Beanie Babies that came out during that time. Um, I have like uh, what are they called? Power Rangers. I have the whole set of those. I know. 
So I have a couple things. And then um, during that time in high school, the Denver Broncos won the Super Bowl two years in a row. So I have some memorabilia to commemorate those mm. achievements. Oh, that's when Jason Elam was on the team, right? Yep. And he played for UH. So there's mm-hmm. the Colorado Hawaii tie. I got you, buddy. He, got he you. Was, <laughs> there you go. He still has the, uh, I think, the tie for the longest field goal in, in a game. So. Oh, somebody tied him? Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, he tied somebody. He tied. Uh, no, he had it. No, he no, had he, it. He, I, that's he, one of the facts that I actually knew. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he broke the record. Yard field goal. Yeah. And then. How far was it? 64 yards. Oh, okay. Because the guy for the Saints, Dempsey, that had it mm-hmm. was 63 yards. Right. So. Right. I mean, he barely beat him. And then I, I want to say it might have been McManus, the current kicker for the Broncos, that tied him. Uh, well, you know, no. you would think Mile High Stadium would right. help. And I, well, I know, I know, yeah. I know for a fact both of them happened there. Which again, you said makes sense. But you know what? While y'all talk, I will Google it. Yeah, you know what? I think that line. <laughs> I, think it's like, Square. I, think, I think it's somebody for another team that tied it. But anyway, yes, to answer your question, Ryan, Elam was a part of the team at that point. I don't think I collected anything in high school either. Like, I think it was I. I did do the cards and like hockey cards sports cards and all that in elementary school and i think in high school that's kind of when i stopped and obviously I, I i mean i didn't work while i was in high school i know a lot of people do like summer jobs and stuff like that but i never i usually went to summer school um and so i didn't work in the, in, in the summertime during high school so i didn't have a lot of extra money to to collect anything or to buy anything uh, like that so there was definitely a lull in my collection um i would say until much more recently when I started working. So it was, it's been a long, it's been a big gap since I've, um, since I've collected stuff and I'm making up for it a lot. So, you know, I just, I just thought, um, the time I did collect comics was during high school. I totally spaced on that. Um, I mentioned, I think I mentioned before the darkness, I mentioned that, you know, like that whole series came out then. I also collected Simpsons and Futurama comics during that. I did. I did add every now and then to my card collection. It wasn't like, as crazy as it was before. And I think I was probably more into basketball at that point, because I do remember getting some Michael Jordan stuff. And I specifically remember getting his baseball cards when he played with the Sox. And then I think it was the Birmingham Bulls, I think was the team he was on minor league wise. Uh, So I did get some of those during high school and uh, just checking. So we were all right. And we were all wrong. Um, Matt Prater, for the Denver Broncos, holds the record at 64 yards. Mm-hmm. Uh, Elam's longest was 63 yards, which tied Tom Dempsey from the New Orleans oh, Saints. And in yeah. fact, in fact, there have been a few 63-yard field goals. Sebastian right. Janikowski, which is who I thought had one, does have one, uh-huh. as well as uh, David Akers um, from, let's see who he's with, the 49ers when he kicked the 63 yards. So who's, mm-hmm. I missed it. Who's the 64? 64 was Matt Prater when he was with the Prater. Broncos. That's yeah. right. I can't yep. keep track. Okay. Yep. I feel better. Thank you. I blame Come Captain on. Insano for my wrong answer. <laughs> we, were, <laughs> we were all around it, but neither of us, or none of the three of us had it exactly right. So close enough. Yeah. Close enough. So um, uh, what about we segue into sports in high school then? Any of you fellas play sports in high school? Clint, well, yeah, you I was look a like a cheerleader. I was a quarterback. Clint, you know, like a cheerleader. <laughs> I don't know if you're trying to make fun of me, but I would have loved to have been a cheerleader in high school. For <laughs> numerous reasons. Actually, Not only- one of my one of my best friends in high school was uh, was a cheerleader, and I was quite envious of him. I, I, for I obvious actually reasons. Trying on trying it out my senior year, and then I just totally missed the tryouts. But I mean, the male cheerleaders get to hang out with the girls, and they get to work on uh, physical fitness and being in good shape. So it's it's really a win win. And in all but, fairness, I feel it important segue very good here. Shout out to Sully. He was a cheerleader in high school. You just segued to shout out to Sully. Is that what you segued into? (laughs) And now we're done. Yes. (laughs) Just segue into, uh, you know, calling Um, out Sully about being a cheerleader. Answer your question. Why are you speaking uh, like Napoleon Dynamite right now? (laughs) Hey, another great high school movie. There I'm, I'm hoping somebody famous hears this so I can maybe be a voiceover. Do some actor. voice acting. Oh, that's yeah, that's, great. that's, that's great. one of my dream jobs. Voiceover. Yeah, me too. We need to we need to find somebody to have just two different voices. We don't have to be main characters. Just somebody to have voices on there. You All know. right, but Q anyway, Lafonda. Q Lafonda. Lafonda. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing By that the way, voice. When I play Animal Crossing <laughs> and I catch a bass, I think to myself, "I caught you a delicious bass." <laughs> yes. <Every time. laughs> Anyway, oh, I uh, I did play soccer officially for the high school. I wasn't very good, but I liked playing. I still I played for a long time after that. But 
Um, soccer was there, and then I, you know, played with friends like basketball and football and stuff like that. But the only school sport I played was soccer myself, and I was I played forward, which I should have never played. I should have been a mid or a defensive position. But anyway, soccer. Yeah, I played basketball in grade eight because I was like kind of still tall. And then after when it was like grade nine and ten, when everyone got like much taller, and, <laughs> um, just yeah, I didn't stand a chance. So because I, I'm just a, I'm a bigger dude, I played rugby. So I did play rugby. Yeah, oh, that sounds and, cool. That's uh, awesome. Rugby was great. Rugby was a lot of fun. That is not um, something they play in the states. I yeah, um, and I honestly, like, for me, I would have played football if they had football. But mm-hmm. we um, public schools up in well in BC, anyways, most of them don't have uh, a football program. Right, that's um, interesting. We don't have cheerleaders or anything like that. So most, I think it's more. I want to say it's more just in kind of the Vancouver area, the greater Vancouver area. There's like some schools, private schools definitely have football. Um, schools in like the interior, like in Kelowna, Kamloops, um, those schools definitely have football programs. But yeah, the general Vancouver public schools, there was only one that had a football program, and they were really good until. Um, they had like a really really good running back and uh, until he quit and decided to do drugs instead so <laughs> oh, don't do drugs yeah, yeah. yeah. don't do drugs. a 180 if there ever was one yeah. what about you ryan i definitely did not play sports i was in band you were in the band weren't you yep i was the band yeah, i was in the band what else there's the band nothing too. wrong with that there's nothing yeah, wrong with that well, i just we're... know ryan's got more of a musical kind of background than a sports background so yeah I, I, my background was it. always very more analytical artsy that's the way my brain works, but I feel it important to mention my pal Cliffy, very good friend of mine. Um, I'm not sure if I told you folks before. I definitely haven't shared this with the lit- listeners, but Cliffy and I actually went to high school together. However, we didn't know each other back then. He's a year older than I am. We both went to St. Louis High School here in Honolulu, very well known for their football program. So, you know, coming from somebody like me who didn't play sports at all, I always thought it was very odd that my parents sent me there because the education these days as compared to what it was when like my uncle went there very different it was very studious back in the day but anyway i just feel important to mention him because he did play football so kind of ties in here so he'll be my proxy in this case how's that (laughs) did you were you on like the marching band or were you just like regular band i was in the marching band and our marching band sucked (laughs) (laughs) did you play at halftime at like cliffy's games and stuff i probably did yeah <laughs> there you go there's your tie-in there you that's, go that's yeah the so i was still on the football field yeah there you go there yeah you go. I, I guess that counts a little bit yeah. yeah anyone else was in band or choir and doing those things uh well real quick i want to I, I have a quick question kind of well not off topic but not related to that is high school start at grade eight for you nate it does yeah great because here at least my impression it's always freshman year which is yeah. grade, nine. grade nine there are yeah. a few states though that do it where it's 10th like the junior highs will be 7th 8th 9th or 6th 7th 8th 9th um so not not all the high schools in the states even start with uh ninth grade the majority do that's the common sure. common is for it to start with ninth grade but interesting but not ever does yeah, yeah like ours went from eight to twelve and yeah well, what's weird is because they've got, I don't know how prevalent private schools are where y'all are at, but they're pretty prevalent, uh, especially in the southern part of Louisiana. Like that's where I went was a was a private school. And a lot of them will be 8 through 12 or 6 through 12 or 5 through 12 or kindergarten through 12 all on the same campus. Like our school was mm-hmm. uh, 5th through 12th when I was there. And it's varied kind of where it starts, but there was always other grades that's interesting. Uh, that were included in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Ours was six through twelve, but they now have kindergarten through twelve. Yeah, nice. and I also went school? to a private school. Yeah, that's that nice. seems crazy. Like yeah. to be there from like kindergarten all the way through to your senior graduation. Well, I'm just thinking yeah. about the contrast of the seniors <laughs> pushing oh, around yeah, third yeah, graders yeah, yeah. or something. Well, you know what? Our campus is pretty big for St. Louis yeah. School. It has actually, to be. It's right? fairly large. They actually have a their Shamanad University that shares the same campus as us. Oh, wow. See, see, at our our school that we went to, they always kept it was like two different parts of the campus. Like you, those mm-hmm. kids would never mix in with the other kids. But what was cool was they had like a mentorship program built in, right? Mm-hmm. So like um, you would get a kid as a freshman. So I'm trying to think. I think you would get a 
fifth grader, if I'm playing this out right mathematically, that way by the time you got to be a senior, you would have had that uh, little brother. It was like a big brother, little brother thing. You would have had that same uh, kid as your little brother for four years. And then that next year they would take over being a big brother to a little brother. So it was a pretty good, you know, pretty cool program and a pretty cool benefit to, you know, having multiple grades on the same campus. Yeah, so like I had a one of the high schools just down the street that uh, from where I live, where we take banner to go run around on the field. Um, they, I had a friend that went there, and for the longest time up until he graduated back in like I think probably the year two thousand, I think he graduated. They ended their schooling at grade eleven, so at grade eleven, all the seniors had to transfer to a different school to finish oh, their senior year. That's really no, ridiculous. Yeah. They didn't have enough funding. They didn't have enough classroom space. And it was just like, that was, that was what they were given was like, you go there from grade eight to grade 11. And then in grade 12, you filter to one of the bigger high schools. And that's ridiculous because it's like, you've built these friendships and stuff for four years. And then all of a sudden you have to make all new friends in a group of people that have grown up together for the last four years and stuff. And it was really weird. Um, but he was fortunate enough to be the first graduating class out of that school. Um, so th- since then, since like I think the 2000s, they've been um, all the way through grade 12 now. But just to hear that was just like, that's insane. Like that makes no sense at all. So, Nate, but, branching off of what you said, mm-hmm. um, for all of you folks, where did your school start and end as far as the grade? Because like I was mentioning for me where I went to school, I actually started there in seventh grade and I went through all the way through my senior year in high school. So where your high school is typical where it like as joey mentioned right start freshman year and senior year or was it variation like yours need well mine is eight to twelve yeah yeah so ours is a little it's a little weird like when you talk about like public school versus private school like most of the public schools now are well i can't even say everything's common because my kids live in two different school districts and and their setup is different like my son's like you go to pre-k for one school and kindergarten and then i think wait pre pre pre-k kindergarten first grades of school second third fourth fifth grades of school there's a school for just sixth graders there's a school for seventh eighth grade and then there's a school for ninth through twelfth and then where where me and my daughter are there's uh, a pre-k kindergarten first second grade and then a third fourth fifth grade and then sixth seventh eighth grade then ninth through twelfth grade and then if you talk about where i went to school and if you talk about the private sector it's all different because you had some private schools which were uh pre-k through twelfth grade and then you had others that were like maybe pre-k through eighth and then you went to a different school for ninth through twelfth and then you had the one like i went to where it was fifth through 12th. So you had to go to a different school for, you know, pre-K through fourth. So it's, it's all over the place. A lot of it depends if it's private or public, you know, what school district you're in, what state you live in, you know, there's not one hard and fast rule, I think in the United States, as far as that stuff's concerned. What about you, Clint? And this will all make sense by the way, in a moment after Clint answers the question. So, um, this was, you know, it was, um, it's hard to say. Cause my, my school district was a little different in the sense that it was, I think smaller than where you guys are. Um, but it was always, you know, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then I don't think we ever had anything now when I was there, I should say, didn't have anything combined like you guys did. So yeah, that's all I, 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 this is interesting. You guys have a lot more to say about it than I do. Okay. And so as a secondary question off of this, did you folks end up going to school with a lot of the same kids starting from say pre-K kindergarten all the way through sixth grade into middle school into high school? The reason I ask this is my parents yanked me out of everybody that I knew, right? Took me away from all of my elementary school friends and plopped me in a private school where I knew no one. And so mm-hmm. as opposed to a lot of my other friends that I, you know, I have some of my um, elementary friends that I'm still connected with via social media, et cetera, like that. But I can't really say that I truly grew up with these folks because when it came to high school, I had a brand new set of friends that I didn't know during my elementary year. So, you know, I've had friends that they get married and their best man has literally been their best friend since they were five. I don't yeah. have that. And yeah, that's the reason I asked this question, because I feel like it's an important part of 
your childhood in order to establish those bonds, maintain those friendships, grow that relationship, if you will. Yeah, it was weird at my school. So not only was my school private, it was a uh, Catholic private school. So I went from one from kindergarten through sixth grade. And then the school shut down like the, oh. the church that was associated with because everything was associated with the church mm -hmm. um, as far as the elementary schools were. Uh, the church stayed open, but they couldn't continue funding the school. So it shut down. So I actually transferred to a different school. So that was one thing. Not not everybody went to the same school for seventh and eighth grade year that had been together since kindergarten, like what Ryan's talking about. And then so they were co-ed. Well, then there were co-ed Catholic high schools, but the majority of them were either all girl or all boy schools. So then you leave that part of your friend group, like the female part of your friend group, and then not everybody goes to the same school. It's not like it was a feeder school. So you finish this school. So then there was like six, seven options as far as Catholic private high schools. So, you know, some went to one and some went to another. So it's not really, it wasn't really based on where you live because it's a private school. So you don't have to worry about living in district. Like it was depending on traffic, a 20, 30 minute drive for me to go from my house to the school, the high school that I ended up, you know, going to, it was on the other side of the Mississippi river. So I kind of know what Ryan's talking about, because it was a very similar situation uh, as far as switching from one to the other. Yeah. And still to this day, um, all of the friends that I had through high school, like the two closest friends I had in high school, I barely speak to them. And it, it's mm -hmm. it's a sad situation and it's a sad realization of things. But if you look at my life and how I progressed from going to elementary school, got taken away from all of the friends I knew. And then all of a sudden after high school, because I wasn't a jock, I didn't fit in with a good majority of the crowd that I went to school with. I followed my path into music and a good majority of the friends that I still keep around me to this day are either... DJ friends that I've met through the industry or collective friends that I've met through the years. Like, mm -hmm. example, Clippy, since we talk about him, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. So for me, like, same thing. Like, a lot of my high school friends, I did... So elementary school, once we split from elementary school, there was a couple of different high schools in the area. And just based on kind of where we lived, like, that's where... Whatever district. So the district was kind of cut off in a funny way where I didn't end up going to high school with a lot of the kids I grew up with. So it wasn't like dragged away from them so much. It was just like, it was just circumstance. Like there was nothing that I could do about it in, in that sense. Um, but I mean, to be honest, I have not, like I'm the same way, Ryan. Like I haven't kept in touch with anybody from high school um, outside of like people that like, I'll run into occasionally you know, or on social or, media. Yeah, or on yeah, social media or something yeah. like that. That's it's the like, extent of the relationship with yeah. most of the people that I knew from school. Yeah. So when I see like movies and TV shows where it's like, yeah, we're best friends from elementary school and we were like, you know, we're, you know, doing all this stuff together. I'm like, is that real? Like, I mean, I'm sure that happens, but like, it I happens, don't know anyone that kind of has that. I haven't um, been to one high school reunion. Yeah, same. Man. Well, how many of you had our, <laughs> Well, our school does them every five years. Oh, okay. No. So technically, well, technically they have one after the first year too. It's not usually anything big, but it's like, you know, to come get your senior yearbook and some little stuff like that. So I won't count that one. But yeah, I had, I had a five, a 10, a 15, uh, and a 20. So technically four of them, and I haven't gone to any of them. We typically well, do ours on every 10 years. We didn't have a 10-year yeah, reunion as a class. Do it. Most we were do supposed it to have our 10. 20th this year, and the big plan was to go to Vegas. And mm. I went to a planning meeting for this. And wait, 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 wait. You're going to a whole nother state to celebrate your <laughs> high school reunion? You nice. do understand. Okay, I, I know I've spoken about this before, but we don't have any kind of legalized gambling in the state of Hawaii. There's no well, scratch or anything, okay. right? So for, for Hawaii people, Vegas is commonly referred to as the Ninth Island. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, it's a awesome. second home to me because I did live there for a little bit. But that was their whole big thing. They wanted to go to Vegas. They um, Let me also mention that when I was a junior in high school, the football team had a game in Vegas. And somehow they got into hiring strippers and all of that stuff. And, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we need Cliffy on to yeah, give us some need, details yeah, about this. Up on this. Yeah. yeah. We got to hear about We definitely right should because I'm pretty sure he was part of that team. I mean, he didn't engage in any of that stuff, obviously. But... That he'll he probably share some know insight. Of or that yeah. he's admitted to. <laughs> hey, good on him. <laughs> All right, Cliffy, for listening, we got to get you on, buddy. So you guys I'm can not. try to convince him. I've been trying for a while. Maybe yeah. it'll be different if you ask him, Nate. But right, well, have at it, Cliffy. I'm asking you now. Please come on yeah. the show. 
<laughs> I like how none of y'all asked me if I played any sports in high school. Y'all just like totally, we just assumed like, you did. The, the, this this conversation's kind of just swinging everywhere. But. <laughs> yeah. Joey, did yeah. you play basketball in high school? I did one Scott. year though only, surprisingly. <laughs> so, real quick, uh, not to bore anybody, but I played football my freshman year. What position? Did not did uh, defensive tackle. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Not so, no, nope. is that a nut? So not a football position. Did, Nope. Didn't make the basketball team my freshman year. Like, didn't really get a good look from the guy that was the freshman coach. Then I quit football to concentrate on just training for football, uh, excuse me, for basketball. So, like, I didn't do football over the summer. So, I quit football, did basketball, 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 made the team under the varsity coach on the JV team my sophomore year, which was great. Um, and then he left to go to another school. Well, guess who takes over the varsity position, the freshman coach. So he made me retry out, and I probably performed better than anybody that was at tryouts and still didn't make the team just because it was him, I guess. I don't know. I still never figured out what he had against me, Um, but didn't make it. So then I switched, like Clint, to soccer. So I played soccer my junior and senior year. Um, I played uh, fullback uh, for soccer because you – you don't have to be very fast to play defense on well, uh, the soccer out, team. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, and then I uh, uh, did track all four years. Not running because I'm slow as molasses, but uh, through through discus is what I did uh, oh, nice. there. Yep. Was not in the band, though. Although, uh, like, hindsight being 2020, I wish I would have been in the band because that is, like, one of the easiest and best scholarships to get to college oh, sure. yeah, yeah. nowadays. It's, a, it's, very, it's very easy. Band scholarship. Yeah. yeah. Hey, speak for yourself, man. I tried hard in band. Like, I'm trying to, like, you know, build the band people up and Clint's trying to rip yeah, them Yeah, trying to rip no, me down. No, no, <laughs> no. The band people, like, like the, the, I mean, you can't just. What do you mean? It. What do you mean, band people? Come on. Yeah, you're a band. You're a band, band, band person. People. I was a band. Uh, yeah, you're right. But I, I'm including myself. But <laughs> it's like they're in there because they, they. I mean, you got to be able to tolerate it, right? Like you actually have to like what you're doing to do it. But if you're ever looking for a grade, I mean, everyone in there isn't doing it for the grade, basically. At least right. y'all I, can't see right now, but Clint is backpedaling so far. Yeah, he's he, almost away from his microphone. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not what I meant. No. Anyway, it seriously though. I mean, like, the band was more of a passion, I think, than than a, a grade. But it wasn't easy A. I Maybe in your grade. school it was. It wasn't that easy for oh, easy well, A on our mine. side. Yeah. I mean, you basically. I mean, they can't, they can't. They can't grade you with a written test, really. I mean, it's more of a you know participation, if you will. Um, anyway, well, they can grade you on how well you play your music, how well you read your music. music. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I didn't. Anyway, um, I'm gonna actually go <laughs> back know, to now. We know topic. what class Clint used to sleep in in high school. How do you sleep in band? That's loud. <laughs> There's music playing everywhere. How did you get an That's easy the a. one thing keeping you from sleeping in band. I went. I participated. I, I was. I was always a high chair. And, so the, and the teacher felt sorry for you. you that might have been. But I'll take any pity I can get. <laughs> anyway, I've had the same high school. I've had the same uh, best friend my whole life. So how about that? Let's change the topic here. Cool. Um, but I've known him outside of school. I knew him because of my friends and we actually did go to school till our senior year or our fr- high school together. But, um, it's interesting cause you guys are saying you don't interact with anybody. I actually was planning. I was in the planning committee for our 10 year reunion, mm. um, which we, we did a decent job, but I, I, the town I come from has a w- interesting mentality. So we had a really good turnout, but you go to a high school reunion now and it's like, so, uh, I saw on Facebook, your kids are good. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I saw you working here. Cool, you know, like you have nothing to talk about because it's all on social media. Mm-hmm. And that's right. a good point to kind of divert a little bit. People post too much personal stuff on social media. You know, it's true. I agree. And that's part of the reason why you don't have to necessarily interact with people. You can be like, like for example, one of my friends that I've known since elementary. He works over at Costco, and I see him every time I go there. But we don't really talk often. The last time I went in prior to all of this stuff happening he told me oh i saw that you and your wife went to new york and this was like shortly after we went to new york city last year and i'm just like how did you know that i'm like oh yeah it's on my instagram but i you guys you guys know i don't post a lot of personal stuff most of what i put on my instagram is usually of toys Mm -hmm. right yep it's when you take then when you take pictures 
pictures of your little Tony and put them on Instagram for everybody to check out. I have a little monkey in a tube here. Oh, so I got a little Tony. I just got better. Yeah. This is getting aggressive. If you don't know what we're talking about, first it was his little Tony. Now he's talking about his monkey in a tube. He's got a monkey in a tube. Yep. I'm I'm flexing my collection, is what I'm doing. He's flexing his monkey. That's what he's doing. Showing us his monkey in a tube. That sounds so wrong, Nate. That's true. (laughs) I I like flexing flexing his tube monkey. Um, tube, tube monkey. Yeah. So keeping keeping in line with like the high school thing here, the high school cafeteria was always kind of a adventure. Like we weren't. I never had a car in high school, so I never was able to kind of go off campus and eat and stuff. So I would always eat cafeteria food, and boy, they it's it's not made up. Like everything they they show you in the TV and movies about cafeteria food, that's what it was. Like it was just crazy and weird and see, we didn't have the option to go off campus unless you mm. just like illegally snuck off. Same. But we actually had a fairly decent setup for our cafeteria. The 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 key though was to get to the cafeteria as quickly as possible. Mm. Like you would mm-hmm. beg your teacher to let you out a minute early. You would you would try to see if your elective could be scheduled an elective near the cafeteria. But we had like mm. two lines, like you had like a hot lunch line and like the like pre-prepared so like you know you might get like you know salisbury steak and mashed potatoes in the hot mm. line and the other line would have like pre-made stuff like burgers chicken sandwiches and pizza slices and stuff like that and then um then there was a, a side place that mainly was just opened for snacks like we called it the canteen so like you could go through the line and just that's where you would get your junk food and and all that kind of stuff but it had seating in it too and on top of that, like we had a very nice campus that had like a bunch of old, like hundred year old oak trees in the Ooh, campus. Nice. So we had like a p- pretty good picnic table set up like nice. underneath the uh, trees. So that's where a lot of people like on good weather days uh, would go eat, would be uh, eating up underneath the oaks. Um, so our, our lunch deal was not that bad compared to I know some of the horror stories that some people have like my daughter complains all the time about the cafeteria at our school <laughs> and, and the mm-hmm. food and the tastelessness of it did you folks all have lunch at the same time or was it staggered between like you could have you know class class free period mm-hmm. class class free period etc yeah we had different shifts I think I, our school was fairly small like for four grades I think we had like 500 or so um students but i think we had two two lunch shifts if i remember correctly like but where i teach at now that my daughter goes to we've got about the same thing about 500 kids we've got about 150 or so in each grade some have a few more some have a few less they have three lunch shifts Mm. like sixth grade goes to lunch at one time seventh grade goes at one time eighth grade goes at one time it's it's crazy but we had quite a few that went on the same lunch shift which is you know why you had to run especially if you don't want the mm-hmm. hot lunch you wanted to make sure you had some burgers or pizza left to grab you better get there quick and then it was crazy when they had gumbo day like every now and then they would make like a good big old pot of gumbo you mm. better move quick if you want to get any gumbo <laughs> just get the leftovers and so, then like twice a year they boiled crawfish which was which was pretty awesome too even though you don't like crawfish I do like crawfish. Oh, I thought you didn't. You don't, I don't really want like, to go out the I don't like the work. I don't yeah, like the yeah. work that goes into it. We're having some for, for Mother's Day tomorrow. So I, I bite the bullet a couple of times a year just to deal with the <laughs> – it's, it's just it. a long process if you've never right? done it before to get oh, yeah. not a lot of food. No, I hear you. Um, it's funny. I'm listening to you guys. Ours was open campus for lunch, and I mm. never once ate in the school cafeteria. Oh, damn. Look um, at you. I well yes and no so yeah it was lucky I mean even before we could drive there was still within very close walking distance I remember there was Arby's there was Burger King um we ate a lot of fast food and I I think (laughs) about it now and I'm like my arteries hurt thinking about how much crap I ate nice but you were young back then and yeah I I get it I get it but I at the same time I'm like I kind of wish I would have eaten a lot healthier in hindsight Mm -hmm. um but you know and then we got our cars and I mean the world you know everything was ours what was nice is my dad was retired when I was in high school. He'd get us lunch on Friday. So me and like four of my other friends would always drive to my house and he'd always either make something or he got us something. And that was a really fun memory to to go eat, you know, and hang out with my dad who, you know, had a reputation for a while of being a mean, because he was a cop, of being you know, a hard ass. And here he is being the softy that hooked us up with lunch. So mm-hmm. anyway, um, 
I, 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 open campus has its advantages and its disadvantages, but in hindsight, I mean, I kind of wish I would have eaten a little healthier. My cholesterol thinks that too. So <laughs> just going to spit that out there. I know I love getting to college and being able to drive off to go get something to eat and not have to eat on campus. It's just the option, right? Like just yeah, having exactly. that kind of option. Like the That's closest thing we I- had that was an option was the um, – there was a gas station that's just kitty corner to to where my high school is. It's or, what corner? Kitty, kitty corner. Kitty, kitty corner. I've never heard that. You never heard, heard that? Term? You I've heard Caddy heard corner. Caddy corner. Mm. No, I know kitty corner. Yeah, no, I know kitty caddy corner. corner. Kitty corner is is like something in a playroom. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you get punished and you get put in timeout, no. you have to go to the kitty corner. You're in All timeout. Right. Go we'll fight about this later. Hold the thought. <laughs> yeah, Let, let's put it to the listeners too yeah. and our friends. Because no, I've, no, I've have an opinion. No, no, no. I, mean, I wanna, I wanna know because <laughs> obviously super defensive. I don't want to hear anybody else's opinion. It is catty corner. I'd you know like what, to though? know I because mean, think about it this up. way: for where Nate and I are in the world, we're more like west western side, right? Clint, I know you're more central, but I'm gonna throw you on the east side just for fifty fifty <laughs> sake here. So I'm willing to bet anybody that's up and down like California, like say for example Julie, maybe Eva, since they're in the California area. Maybe their interpretation of this is still kitty corner. Maybe folks further east, like Asian Joey and maybe um, Delorean Wolfgang might be a good interpreter here because he grew up in Florida. But anyway, I'd like to know other people's insight on this. Well, you don't need to because I did Google it and it comes up kitty corner diagonally opposite someone or something. Did you you Google catty corner to see if it came up with anything? It comes up as kitty corner, kitty corner, cater corner, or caddy corner. There you so go. It's like, all like, caddy corner corner. Corner. It's like pop versus reason. soda versus, yeah. Yeah. you know. So we call it pop. Coke. When, when I say pop when I'm in the States, people just look at me like, what am I ordering? Oh, they wouldn't hear. Yeah. yeah. Or if you went to the more of the northeast and midwest area, they, they say pop a lot. But mm. like down here, it's either, do you want a Coke? Okay, mm. which kind? Right? <laughs> so that might be a, sp- oh, I'll take a Sprite, you know, yeah. or soft drink. That's another one that right. gets used a lot. Yeah. Well, you want a soft drink? Or like here, we call them slippers, but other people call them flip flops or, <laughs> what? or oh, 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 I thought you'd went pop. Oh, I think you meant no. soda. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were moving on to that subject. But slippers, <laughs> slippers, flip flops. I know some people call them thongs, right? Which but. makes no sense. But anyway, all right, let's, we're way off. Anyway, anyway. Talk about time school. There's a gas station <laughs> that's on the diagonal corner of my high school <laughs> campus. That's a better whatever response. you want to call it, and that was like. The only place that was kind of within walking distance that you would guarantee you could get over there, get something and get back without having to walk like 10 blocks to and maybe not even get food before you're late for class. So that um, that gas station got a lot of our business and they hated it because they always thought we would steal things. I never personally stole anything from there. I do know people that have stolen many things from there. I never did it. Um, But yeah, like so I... The only thing I ever ate all through high school was either my mom would like pack me a lunch or I would eat in the cafeteria. And the only thing that I've ever eaten there, they had these chicken burgers and there was kind of like, kind of like a McChicken patty, basically. And I remember they were like $2. That's how long ago this was. And it was like a $2 for a burger. And it was like the greatest thing ever. Cause it was just like, you could, like Joey said, you'd have to rush in there because they'd only make so many mm-hmm. uh, right at lunchtime. So if you weren't within the first, I don't know how many people, like you weren't going to get one. So you just have to like literally carry your books from the class previous or pray that the teacher lets you out early and you would get there. Cause we never had a split lunch. Um, my graduating class was like 300 people. That's just in grade 12. That was 300 people. Jeez. So wow. if you on average, even if you were like 200 for every class, that's like a thousand kids um, through across five grades. Right. So um, there you go. Math. Um, so <laughs> hey, good job. Yeah. Like, like over a thousand kids. Uh, scrambling to grab lunch or grab a seat and stuff, it gets absolutely insane. And it was like that for for many, many years uh, while I was in high school. Yeah, it was it was good times. Good times. Um, anything else you guys want to touch on really quick uh, with our high school memories? Maybe one, one thing I'd like to ask, and this might turn back to shoot me in the foot because it might be lengthy. What's the one <laughs> thing you missed the most about high school? Mm. You know, since we were talking about what's one of the or what's the things that we miss most about the world being quote unquote normal, what do you miss most about high school? 
I know it's a difficult question because there's a, there's a lot of stuff to go around. You know, I was a social person. I still am. And mm-hmm. I miss I miss the I absolutely miss the social part of it. I know it's a very generic answer, but let me elaborate. I miss being social with so many different people. Like I may not there were people I went to high school with that you know, I'm not best friends with, I haven't kept in touch with or even then hung out with often, but I enjoyed seeing them, you know, in trigonometry or whatever the case was. So seeing the diverse group of people um and interacting with so many people was was probably my answer. Yeah, I think it was all the stuff, obviously, you know, nobody says, oh, I miss algebra. You know, it, <laughs> it's it's all the stuff that goes along with it, you know, whether it's, you know, the dances or the house parties or the, you know, the sporting events, whether you were participating in the sporting event and traveling with the team, you know, that's a different thing. Or whether it was, you know, going to, you know, somebody else's, you know, sport to watch and, and support them. You know, I, I, I'm kind of like Clint, you know, just that generic social aspect of, you know, getting to hang out with people, you know, especially now, you know, I think it's something you, you know, take for granted, you know, being able to hang out with people and just do whatever. Um, I, but I think even if this lockdown wasn't going on, I think that would still be my answer for high school as far as, you know, the mm-hmm. the extracurricular type of stuff whether it was groups you were in or friend friend groups or teams or whatever i just i just miss all that aspect because you don't really have that in adult life you know what i'm saying i mean you can yeah. be a you can be a part of a club if you want to but it's it's not the same thing no. as it was mm-hmm. in high school no. and there's not as many options and if there is you don't have time for all the stuff like you somehow did when you were a kid and there was 48 hours in a day uh, and you could do all this different stuff. <laughs> it seems to get if more segregated as you get older and older. You know, in high school, like Clint mm-hmm. is talking about, there's a good mixture of all kinds of different walks of life, backgrounds, interests, etc. Like for me, right? I was a band geek, but I went to a school full of jocks. And not all of them were mean to me. I got picked on a lot. I, I won't lie. But it was a good mixture. And it, it, you know, it strengthened you, I guess is a good way to say it. Mm-hmm. You learn, you learn a lot in high school. And I think that's one of the things that's completely off topic, but like kind of embracing those challenges and, and, you know, just understanding that high school is truly just a short time. Like this is not the rest of your life. You know, you know, sometimes things are tough in high school, but I'm, I feel like I'm a better person for kind of those experiences. And then I've learned a lot um, myself in high school. Um, but for me, the thing that I miss the most, I would have to say is cause I was in band too and I, I played the violin and um, I think I miss just traveling with the band the most, like just being on performing and going to um, like, I performed at my grad, like performing. Uh, we performed at Disneyland, like things like that. Like just, I miss, mm. I miss those kind of experiences because you just don't have those as an adult, right? Like, right. You, you can't. <laughs> it's all the stuff that's associated with school that's not really a thing that you do unless you like are me and become a teacher and then you're still associated with some of that stuff. But it's the stuff right. that's unique to school that you don't usually get a chance to do again or at least do again on a regular basis once you know once you're done. Right. Mm-hmm. And looking it. back in hindsight, retrospect here, it's a lot of those things that you took for granted and you, you didn't think yeah. that they were so important yeah. at the time. Definitely. But fast forward for me, like, you know, for me, 20 years. You all start to 20 years. Yeah, we're all 20 years now. You start to realize like how much that was an instrumental part in making the person that you are now. No. Yep. Really yeah, is. Leave, leave it to Ryan to make it weird again. <laughs> you know, you, you, you did a good job wrapping it up. Yeah. That was that was a nice that was a nice little bow on top of the, yes. the high school discussion. Um so yeah, we're all we're very interested in hearing kind of everyone else's experiences that you're listening. Um Feel free to drop us a note in the SoundCloud comments and let us know how your high school experiences were. Was your cafeteria any good? Um, or just in general, what do you miss about high school, if anything? Uh, so we're always curious to. And that's to okay if you that. don't miss anything in high school. I yeah, that's okay too. Yeah. Didn't do well in high school, but turned out to be wonderful people outside of it. I'm willing yeah. to bet everybody misses at least one thing about high school that it's over. I, <laughs> okay, aside one thing that. for everybody. There you go. <laughs> uh, all right. So, with that, what time is it, Joey? It's game time! Ow. That was unexpected. <laughs> I didn't and realize what's... the guy who sang Holy Diva was in our room here. <laughs> Why can't I think of it? Roger Dio, yes, thank you. I couldn't think of his name. <laughs> what was Holy the dude? Diva? Not Handsome Dan. What was it, Mr. Scream? Yes. Yeah. <laughs>
So I apologize <laughs> for everyone you. that whose eardrums just got fucking destroyed because Joey decided to take it up ten notches. Two eleven. Wonderful intro. Two eleven. What movie was that? Um, Am I talking loud? I can't tell. <laughs> I, well, isn't it Austin Powers when he gets unfrozen? No, there was something else where. Anyway, like, oh, keep moving. Spider Man. <laughs> that was a Spidey line. Ah. I'm sure it's been used many times. Sure. Sure. Okay. So, anyways, this week I am doing the game because Ooh. we like to give Joey a break sometimes. Even though his games are wonderful, he likes to play. And uh, so this week, um, the game is going to be loosely based around, it's kind of like a Jeopardy style game. Uh, so there's three topics. It's going to be movies, TV shows, and music. There's going to be uh, different point values assigned to each question from 500 all the way down to 100. Um, so basically, we'll get Joey to go first. He'll pick a category and a point value. What I'll do is I will read a quote uh, based on that uh, selection he made and all you guys got to do is tap your head and if you know the quote. So if you know the quote, that gets you the point value of uh, what he selected. But we'll give you a bonus 100 points if you know the actor, the actress, or the character, or the person who sang the song. So you just need one of those things to get a bonus 100 points. The only difference with Jeopardy and in, in my version is you don't lose any points because that's sad. I don't want anyone to be sad today. So Except all three me. categories have a, a 500, a 200, a 300, yeah. a 400, and a 500. Yeah. So depending on how many, how confident you are, whatnot, um, you can kind of pick. But you guys ready? And the categories are movies, movies music, and TV shows. Movies, music, and TV. Gotcha. And they're all based on 1995 to 2000. So these are all things that have. Uh, released in 1995 to the year 2000 because that covers pretty much all the years that the four of us were in high school. So keeping on theme, keeping on brand. All right. Well, I think I will start with TV for 500. Wow. TV for 500. You got the right. daily double. <laughs> There's no. I thought about doing a daily double. I didn't. Um, so keep in mind, everyone, once I start reading the question, everyone is eligible to, to buzz in. Okay, so the quote is. Joey already no, rang in. Joey already yeah. rang in. <laughs> he didn't. He was practicing. He was practicing. Oh, like come on. <laughs> okay. TV shows for 500. There's an old Italian saying you fuck up once, you lose two teeth. What? Clint? I'm supposed to name the TV show? Yes, the show. The Sopranos. There you go. All right. Who's, who said that line? I, I don't know any of the actors' names. Uh, you know Joey. No. Uh, <laughs> was it uh, Tony Soprano? Tony Soprano. <laughs> you said Joey, guess. so that's All too right. late. That was your guess. But it was right. it was Tony Soprano. Damn it. And it was James Gandolfini. And uh, rest in peace, James Gandolfini. If I lose by 100 points now, I'm going to really kick myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was the year 1999. So there you go. There you go. So okay. it's my turn to ring in? So it's your turn to, to pick a category. All right. Well, let's go music for 500. Music for 500. One sec here. All right. The quote is, it's Friday night and I feel all right. The party's here on the west side. Clint? That'd be Montel. Um, shit. Montel Jordan. Yes, but what's the name? Oh, do you need the song? Um, yeah. This is how we do it. There you go. Clint with another 600 points. Did, 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 did. See, these weren't hard. No, I, I, okay. Well, you know okay, what? So uh, Where they sample that from? No, <laughs> the East Side. <laughs> no idea. Tell me. It's okay. Well, I want to know. We'll talk about that later. I don't want to hold up the oh. game. Fine. Uh, <laughs> let's right. go. To last five hundred category in movies. Okay. The quote for movies. You met me at a very strange time in my life. Nobody? That sounds familiar. No. I feel like I should know it, it. It's like, it's one of those things where I feel like it's On just tip your not enough of the quote for me to figure out who it is. All right. No guesses? Nope. Nope. Okay. Fight Club. Ah! That makes Does sense. Does anybody know who said it for 100 points? Edward Norton. 
<laughs> I don't remember. Tyler Durden. It was Edward Norton. But but yeah. that's not the character's name. No, but you. I mean, if you buzzed in, I would have given you hundred points. Oh, I thought we. I thought we we only got that if we got the answer right. Okay, that's no. Funny. This is not Tourette's Jeopardy. <laughs> you don't just blurt stuff out, Clint. <laughs> Tourette's, you Jeopardy. Tourette's Jeopardy. Tourette's <laughs> Jeopardy. Anyways, all right, all the five hundred points are gone. Clint, pick a category. Uh, let's go back to music for four hundred. Music for four hundred. Um, the quote is, "Near, far, wherever you are." Joey. Oh, why did I just blank on the title of the song? <laughs> my, my heart will go on. Absolutely. Okay. And you know who sang that? Celine Dion. There you go. 600 nice. points for Joey. And I, I didn't no, make 500. 500. Well, you, well, you got this. You got the, and you got the, uh, the bar It's a 400 point. Also plus oh, 500. 500. Come on. Yeah. Nate okay. fails at math. There's yes. another thing uh, to square. Oh, we'll, keep, we'll keep track of our own scores, apparently. Yeah, Brian, please keep track of your right? Because I'm going to fuck And here, I'm up. only tra- trying to keep track of the board and see what's gone. But yeah, I guess we need to keep track of you too, Nate. No, I got it. 500 <laughs> for Joey. 1997 uh, is when that song came out. All right, Joey. Uh, let's go TV for 400. TV for 400. The quote is... He look like a man. He what? He look right, like a man, me. Ryan. SNL. Nope. No. But oh wait, no, it's not. Yeah, not SNL. <laughs> Damn it. You're close. You're close. Oh, Clint. That'd be Pat. No. The movie. No. This is oh. TV. It's a TV show. Oh, I thought it was the movie. <laughs> Shit. Okay, Sorry. now you can't answer either. Now you can't answer, Joey. You got a free reign to to guess the TV show. He look like a man. Yeah. Was it Martin? Hmm. Mad TV. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, Miss Swan. Mad TV. I was thinking the opposite side. So You had the right idea, Ryan. I know. The wrong part of the country. As soon as I said, I'm like, <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. Uh, Joey, pick a category. Uh, movies for 400. Movies for 400. You guys are just working your way down here. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's what she said. Movies for 400. <laughs> The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he did not exist. Joey. <laughs> Usual suspects. That's right. And do you know who said that? Either the actor or the character. Kevin Spacey. There you go. Another 500 points. There you go. I was trying to think of the name. Is he, he made it up from the uh, Ka- Kaiser Soze. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Tip of the You'll get an extra bonus point. Rolled off. That, no, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pick your category. Uh, movies for three hundred. Movies for three hundred. And the quote is: "In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night." Joey. Uh, that would be the Truman Show. That is correct. And who said that line? <laughs> Truman or Jim Carrey? Yeah, I never saw that. Good call. Oh, you it's should watch good, it. It's a it's beautiful good. movie. Is it good? It, it's, it's, really it's to be honest, it's more topical now than it was when yeah. it came out. <laughs> I believe yeah. that. Love that. Um, yeah. So, we're, Joey, you're up. Pick another category. TV for three hundred. TV for three hundred. And your quote is, "Where everything's made up and the points don't matter." Joey, whose line is it anyway? Wow. Yeah. Did he really beat me? It. I thought my hand was there first. He did. Yeah. He did. He From somebody you. who's, yeah, I agree. Yeah. He beat you. Yeah. You can name one of the hosts on who's like. No, he has to name the host from then. Oh, okay, yeah. That's nice. Well, I don't know what year it is, because it could be Drew Carey or it could be the British guy that hosted it. Is this okay, the American, it's or British? American version 98. Drew Carey. Yeah, it's Drew Carey. So Not that you didn't know that. And you got to name yeah. somebody that was on the show, too. Uh, Ryan Styles. I was gonna say that's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> I went to high. I went to the same high school as uh, Colin Mockery. Really? Oh, nice. Yeah, his uh, his grad picture is on the wall at my old high school. No. <laughs> did he have, did he have <laughs> hair then or no? Uh, very thin hair actually. Yeah, so he didn't have hair. It was for leaving him time. then. Yeah, it was leaving him then. It was great. Like, <laughs> please say a senior picture is him pointing, saying, "You're awesome." <laughs> yeah. I yeah we we. I think I, no- I noticed that at some point, and we just walked by, and we just went to look for it, and sure enough, he's he's up on the wall. Nice. Um, so about halfway through, uh, we've got Joey in the lead with 1,800 points. You don't we've have got- to say anything more. I don't have any <laughs> points, okay? has 1,100 points, and Ryan is trying real hard. Yeah, shut up. Um, 
<laughs> That's also what she said. <laughs> Joey, what's your, what's, what's your next category? Um, TV for 200. TV for 200. Uh, okay. And the quote is, in the criminal justice system, sexually based... Oh, come Joey, on! <laughs> uh law, law and order <laughs> special victims unit svu yeah. and come on ryan that, I'm, I'm trying to occupy buddy i don't i don't want to like, bar- uh, so. i know it's the narrator and i know the guy go. has a name but i don't know yeah. who it is i will accept narrator that's what i have down here i put that one in because it's like ryan come on this is this is this is ryan's I am, <sighs> well in my stole defense, like thunder. I said, stole I'm trying thunder. to get Buddy not to bark, and so it doesn't get recorded here. So I am a little bit distracted at the moment. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, me, me too. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, and to be honest, Joey's got now 2,000 points. Well, actually, 2,100 <laughs> points because he had 1,800 earlier. It's true. There's nothing I can do to win. <laughs> you can break that so, zero. You can break that zero. <laughs> and, yeah, and what what would it matter for? Pride. 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 You're playing for pride at this point, sir. That's fine. Either that or you're playing for hot dogs. We don't know. Movies, 200. Movies for 200. Your quote is, I'm just a little anxious to get up there and whoop BT's ass. Clint. That would be from Independence Day. And that's Will Ferrell or Will Ferrell. Will Smith's character. (laughs) No, he has to. You have to use the first. I would love to see Will Ferrell. You have to use the first response so he can't get that extra 100 points. No. I, I'm I'm being I'll salty because I missed my SVU I'll question. Let him slide. That was I'll, still a mid sentence. It's like I'll without taking the, your finger off the, the, the chest piece. He can yeah. have the pity points. He, he, he gets the pity points. Is he, he going? Points. Is he going streaking with ET through the quad? Is that what's happening now? <laughs> Frank the Tank tanks on the aliens. That was college, man. You're you're too early. Yeah, you're you're a week early, maybe. Well, uh, he was Clint- in college when we were in high school. There you go. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Yeah, Come I know. on. I, I, I was trying to get the upper hand on you, but I, that backfired. I Ryan fails at math now. Clint, oh, it's my turn. Is there still yeah. a 300? I mean, there is a 300 music. for music. Okay, oh. let's do that. 300 for music. The quote I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep. Clint. I miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. That'd be I Steven Tyler. Um, points you need for to. Singing. Yeah. Well, that, that's Steven Tyler and Aerosmith. I pressed it. Oh, okay. Well, he said my name. He was first. He was first. I'm trying to occupy Buddy because he wants to come in and out. Go out there. Sorry, Ryan. All right, Clint. Uh, so what do we what do we have left for 200? One of those. Uh, music for 200 and all the 100s. Let's do music for 200 then. All right, music for 200. I like Angela, Pamela, Sandra, and Rita. Clint. Oh, that's Mambo number five by Lou Bega. Oh, you guys are tied. He's good. He's good. You're good. You're you're tied with. with so Joey team. and I are tied with only three one hundred questions left. Three one hundred point questions left. <laughs> that that bonus. Thought, uh, isn't there TV shows for two hundred left? No, nope. that was okay. Really I guess I missed crossing that off. It's okay. Buddy wins. Yeah. Yay, buddy. Yay, buddy. Yay, better. Right. Clint. Uh, point question. Let's do music for a hundred. Music for a hundred. It's your quote. She had dumps like a truck, truck, truck. Joey. And it would be the thong song by Cisco. That is correct. And your choice? TV for a hundred. TV for a hundred. The quote is, screw you guys, I'm going home. That was me. That was all that me. That was Joey. No way. That was me. That was Joey. No that way. was Joey. He South Park, wow. Eric Hartman. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> I should have let Clint have it so you guys could fight over the last one. But exactly. Fight. Yeah. Fight. fight. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can give Ryan a let's, chance to, to let's answer. Do the last don't, let's don't, do the last get, don't, don't do the pity shit. Okay. Don't do the I pity don't shit. pity anybody. Movies for 100 is the last question. And uh, the quote is, Houston, we have a problem. That was is, that, is that is that Joey too? You want to? You no, wanna, no. Are you that sure? Was, that, that was, was me on my end. Yeah, that was me. I heard that. On my end, I saw me do it yeah. first. That was Apollo thirteen. Yes, but that was. um, and that's Tom Hanks' character. That is Tom Hanks' character. There you go, and winner by a hair. Joey, how many points? points? Oh, two hundred. Like okay, points. it wasn't a hundred points. Okay, then I no, it was yeah, <laughs> it wasn't a hundred points. Um, Ryan, yeah, buddy wins. Up. Shut up. 
Well done, Joey. Well like, done. I'll just take Even my monkey I still think I had the South Park one before you. I still think time. I had the Apollo 13 one, so we can continue arguing. <laughs> can we have like a 50 point question? <laughs> No, <laughs> that wouldn't even help you win. You well, lost by the, 200 would, points. It would with the bonus. I don't know. Are you bad at math it. now, Clint? Now, all three of you have failed at math on this episode so far. Wait, wait, Just go. during this game. We're going to start calling you Stephen Hawking then. Okay, that make you happy, Joey? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Wow. That's <laughs> is, that, is that what he sounds like? <laughs> I think that's he has to do his that's computer up, voice. Clint. That's messed up. <laughs> Just get a speaking spell. <laughs> I'm thinking of that Mojo <laughs> episode of The Simpsons. Yes. Try for Mojo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Terrible. Well, I'm gonna hope you guys had fun with that game this week. I tried to not. We make did. It, it was great. Super difficult. Yeah, speak for yourself. I Threw in a it. softball for Ryan, but Buddy had to inter interfere. You know what you should have done for that okay. one? Just go bump bump. <laughs> yeah. <just laughs> dun dun. Just... I should have given him bonus points if you guys sang the song. Like bonus. Ooh. Well, I sang it. So. Well, sorry, well, sang uh... it well. Oh, oh there you mind. go. I'm out. Not gonna lose. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed the game and enjoyed this episode this week, where we uh, took a took a prance down memory lane on high school and uh, shared some of our experiences. Um, as always, we love to hear from you. So make sure you're following us on Twitter and Instagram at the underscore dorksman. Um, let us know anything that you'd like to hear about topics, or show us your bingo cards, or just you know generally interact with us. Uh, we love responding. We love uh, hearing from you guys and we love it interacting with you guys on the stream and and just everywhere and anywhere so please keep that up we really truly appreciate the support um yeah is there anything else uh from you guys before we wrap it up thank you again to everybody that's been joining the game nights yeah and i think and, it, and we're gonna sorry go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Clint. no no go nope, ahead. i was gonna say we're also still planning on doing streaming so um make sure you're following us on mixer along with our social media yeah and I think it's so, important we also talk about the prom again, being that it is going to hopefully, and, you know, schedule permitting, us, anything gets crazy, should be for next Saturday. Well, when this airs on Monday, it'll be this coming Saturday. Yes. Right? May the so. 16th. May the 16th. And I just encourage people, you know, given everything that's going on in the world, if you are going to be joining us, please try to dress accordingly you know this is all obviously in fun but we're also doing this in a way to support the kids that are not going to be able to enjoy a prom this year during their years of high school so it's true good call all right well with that that's my secret i'm always angry no kitty that's my papa word homies please no gang signs <laughs>